hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so I was just watching YouTube and I was just scrolling through my subscriptions and I found out that Red by Zoe had posted a new video or just Zoe whatever you want to call her um and I found out that she was doing a Harry Potter readathon kind of she wants to read all the Harry Potter books before September 1st and I was going to read them during the summer anyway but I thought that this would be like more fun I was gonna say like funner but then I realized that's not a word so we're just gonna say more fun than just reading them on my own so yeah um so I have my laptop right here and um, this actually started on May 22nd, and that was two days ago. So I'm learning new things every day. So, Zoe was going to read The Philosopher's Stone, or The Sorcerer's Stone. I call it The Sorcerer's Stone, because that's just what I grew up calling it. So we're going to change that. And I spelled the P wrong. Ah, I put two C's. Okay. Um. Um. From May. So she wanted to read Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone from May 22nd to May 28th, along with the Fantastic Beast screenplay and the Fantastic Beast text textbook. So I do not have the Fantastic Beasts screenplay. However, I do have the textbook, so I'm going to be reading Harry Potter um, and the Sorcerer's Stone along with Harry Potter's textbook, Fantastic Beasts, and where to find them. Um, everybody who wants to do this readathon, I keep calling it a readathon. I don't really know if it's that. Let me go over and see. Okay. She calls it a read along. I'm just saying readathon because this is what I'm used to. So if you guys want to join this readathon, then go ahead um, and like friend Zoe or whatever, or read by Zoe on Goodreads, Twitter, whatever you guys have. I don't have Twitter, but I do have Goodreads, so go follow me there. Um. Yeah, so you are all welcome to join if you would like. Uh, just keep in mind that the first book ends on Sunday. But I've read the first Harry Potter book in a day anyway. Before, even though it took me all day. But, you know, it's fun. And Saturday, I usually do nothing on Saturday. So, whole day for me to read that book. Okay. Then uh, the Chamber of Secrets will be at May 29th through Sunday, June 4th. And then Quidditch Through the Ages, which I also have. Okay. I thought it said, like, I've taken up eight minutes. I was like, no, oh, it was three. Okay, let's continue. Um, the Prisoner of Azkaban is Monday, June 5th through Sunday, June 11th. Um, then the Goblet of Fire will be Monday, June 12th through Sunday, July 2nd. So that will be three weeks. Then Order of the Phoenix would be Monday, July 3rd through Sunday, July 23rd, three weeks. The Half Blood Prince, um, Monday, July 24th through Sunday, August 6th, two weeks. And then the Deathly Hallows and Tales of Beetle the Bard, Monday, August 7th through Friday, September 1st, and that's four weeks. So, you guys may not know, but I have read the series four times. Yes, I know some people have read it like over a hundred times, which they never experienced the other books that are lovely. But I hope one day I'll be able to get to 100. Um... I've started this tradition recently where I read 
the Harry Potter books over the summer every year just because this is the time where I have the most to read and do nothing all day long just get lazy so yeah and I can't wait to start my mother sees me reading Harry Potter she's gonna like take my books away because she keeps saying to read everybody every other book before you read them again but I don't do it there was this one time I think it was the last time I was reading these books I was actually reading them in secret nobody knew I was reading them so whenever I was reading it I would lock my door and say don't bother me for like three hours and they didn't question me because I stay in my room anyway nobody really bothers me but just precautions and if anybody like came knocking at the door I would like quickly hide the book and hope they didn't notice the empty space on my shelf and now that I see the shelf it looks like um, it's going to be harder to hide that another book is missing. But, you know, they have to deal with it. They're not reading the books. That's just me. Um, there are also going to be movie watch-alongs. That's not a word. Um, Friday, May 26th at 7 p.m. that's the eastern time fantastic beasts and where to find them i don't have that movie but i've seen it before so you know we're good and then the one the movie that i will be watching is on saturday may 27th at 3 p.m eastern time harry potter and the sorcerer's stone Uh, yeah. I've seen the movies like 20 times. Probably more. I actually watched them before I read the books, which is sad, but... Okay, so I believe that, that is all for today. Just to give you guys an update on what I'm actually reading at the moment, besides the Harry Potter books, that would be Empire of Storms by Sarah J. Mass. Yes, I have read Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, and Queen of Shadows this month, along with five other books, and other books in general. I think I've read more than eight this month so far. But yeah, I was like on a reading train. Okay, guys, that's all for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, please go hit that subscribe button. And go check out my other videos. And go check out my brother's channel. You know, it's Minecraft. Just trying to be nice and get him more subscribers. Okay, guys. Um, the next video I'm going to do is actually 27 facts about me. Because 27 is my favorite number. Um, I might do that now, actually. But then post it some other time probably Friday okay guys see you next time bye